Tri-Clover brand 700 series single seat valves are the industry standard when it comes to fluid handling in the dairy, food, beverage, brewery, biofarm, or personal care industries. For years, 700 series valves have delivered more dependability and easy maintenance. They're available in a variety of styles and sizes for more application versatility, including both shutoff and divert valves, with sizes ranging from 1 to 4 inches. The 700 series valve family also includes regulating, tank outlet, and reverse acting divert valves. This video provides an overview of the basic maintenance procedures for a 761 series shutoff valve. For more detailed instructions, as well as precautionary information, please refer to the service and installation manual. These are the tools you'll need to maintain your 761 valve. No special tools are required. To disassemble a 761 valve with a normally open actuator, begin disassembly by loosening the clamp wing nut and removing the clamp. Remove the valve body. To disassemble a 761 valve with a normally closed actuator, ensure that your fingers and any loose clothing are clear from the moving stem assembly. Apply air to the air connection on the yoke assembly. This will lift the stem from the valve seat. Loosen the clamp wing nut and remove the clamp. Remove the valve body. Release the air supply and remove from the actuator. Remove the valve stem from the valve body and actuator. Using a wrench to turn the stem counterclockwise, unscrew the stem from the actuator. If your valve is leaking from the stem seal, replace the stem seal o-ring by removing it from the bonnet using a pick or small screwdriver. Replace with a new o-ring. There are two primary stem options on the 761 valve. A low profile bonded rubber plug assembly or a TR Teflon replaceable seat. If your valve is equipped with the low profile bonded rubber seat, the entire stem must be replaced if the seat area is damaged. Alpha Laval offers an exchange program for bonded rubber stems at a reduced cost. For the TR style stem, inspect the TR seat for damage, which can cause leakage. To replace, carefully cut through the Teflon with a utility knife and remove, ensuring not to damage the stainless surface of the plug. To reinstall a new TR seat, use a tri-clamp ferrule the same size as your valve. Rest the new seat on the face of the ferrule, stand stem on top of the TR seat, and tap on the end with a rubber mallet. When the seat snaps onto the stem, inspect to make sure the tabs of the seat are tucked under the stem lip and that the TR seat spins freely. Remove the three bolts that attach the yoke to the bonnet assembly and remove the yoke from the bonnet. This will give you access to the stem guide bushing. Remove and replace as needed. Very little maintenance is required on the actuator of the 761 valve. The main portions of the actuator are sealed if a leak occurs around the actuator stems, these seals are replaceable. It's recommended that you replace the bushing and V-packing on both sides of the actuator. If service is required, place the actuator and yoke assembly on a flat surface. To service the actuator stem seals, begin by removing the four bolts on the top of the valve. Remove the actuator top, stem protector, and red cap. Remove the bushing with a pick. An alternative method using an air supply is explained in the service manual. Remove the V-packing. To ease installation of the new V-packing, reinstall the red cap to cover the stem. Replace the V-packing after spraying with a light coating of sanitary silicone spray. Ensure that the V faces the center of the actuator and that the edges do not fold back onto themselves. Reinstall the bushing. Remove the actuator from the yoke assembly by unscrewing the four bolts. This will allow you to access the bushing and V-packing for replacement on the yoke-mounted side of the actuator. Remove the green packing retainer with two small screwdrivers. Follow the same procedure shown previously for changing the bushing and V-packing. 
For optimum performance, lubricate both sides of the actuator annually. Using a quarter ounce tube of actuator lubricant, insert into the air passageways and squeeze the contents into the actuator. The nylon lock pin is located in the middle of the stem thread and keeps the valve stem from becoming loose due to vibrations. Inspect the nylon lock pin on the actuator stem thread on the side facing the yoke assembly. To replace the pin, use a small punch and push the old pin out of the thread. Reinstall a new nylon lock pin. To reassemble a normally open valve, ensure the long end of the actuator stem is on top of the actuator. When reassembling the actuator to the yoke assembly, note that the green packing retainer should be between the actuator and the valve yoke. Inspect the O-ring on the air passageway. Replace if needed. Ensuring that the O-ring is in place, line up the air passageway on the yoke assembly with the actuator air passageway. Using the four bolts, reassemble the yoke to the actuator. Using the three bolts, reassemble the yoke and actuator to the bonnet. Reinstall the actuator top, stem protector, and cap. Be sure to line up the air passage O-ring with the air passageway on the actuator. Tighten screws. Reinstall the stem to the valve by threading onto the actuator stem. Tighten. Ensure the body gasket is in place. Install the actuator bonnet assembly to the valve body. Orient the actuator to the body to suit your needs. Reinstall the body clamp. Tighten. To reassemble a normally closed valve, note that the green packing retainer should be between the actuator and the valve yoke. Be sure to line up the air passage O-ring with the air passageway on the actuator. Using the four bolts, reassemble the yoke to the actuator. Using the three bolts, reassemble the yoke and actuator to the bonnet. Reinstall the actuator top, stem protector, and cap. Be sure to line up the air passage O-ring with the air passageway on the actuator. Tighten screws. Reinstall the stem to the valve by threading onto the actuator stem. Tighten. Ensure that your fingers and any loose clothing are clear from the moving stem assembly. Apply air to the air connection on the yoke assembly. This will lift the stem from the valve seat. Ensure the body gasket is in place. Install the actuator bonnet assembly to the valve body. Orient the actuator to the body to suit your needs. Reinstall the body clamp. Tighten. Ensure that your fingers and any loose clothing are clear from the valve. Release the air supply. If reversing the actuator, remove the green packing retainer. Simply turn the actuator over. Reinstall the green packing retainer between the actuator and the yoke assembly. Remount the actuator to the yoke. Be sure to line up the air passageways with the corresponding passageway on the yoke and actuator top. Change the position of your air inlet and vent plug. 